Um, and it, it still takes us, a, you know, at least a few days from when the main stage lands to when we can fly it again. So it it, it doesn't it doesn't it, it's it doesn't it's not fully reusable because we lose the upper stage, uh, which costs ten million dollars to build, and um, and then and then the the main stage it's it's not as reusable as like an aircraft. You can't just like re- refuel it and fly. It requires um, work for a couple of days. Uh, but the the Starship design is the first design that is capable of full and rapid reusability, where that is one of the possible outcomes. Um, and once you have full and rapid reusability, the cost of access to space drops by a factor of 100. It's like 100 times cheaper. Um, by some metrics, it's 1,000 times cheaper. And, um, and then when, when you factor in uh, orbital ref, ref, refilling, so you refill on orbit, uh, it, it can drop the cost of going, cost per ton to the surface of Mars by a factor of 10,000. Whoa. Yeah. So what has to improve in order to make it reusable? Um, well, um, We need, th- there's there's some like we're pretty close to being able to re- rapidly reuse the booster for Starship. Um, that's why you know it, it it comes back and gets caught by the arms, and then the arms place it back in the launch mount. So uh, now there's still you know um, we have a little bit of engine damage. We got a little bit of heat shield damage. Um, there's a uh, like there's like tweaks that that are needed, but but the but we're pretty close to achieving full and rapid reusability of the of the booster. Um, the ship we we we're, I mean I I think we'll achieve reusability of the ship this year, um, and I think we'll achieve rapid reusability of the whole stack, ship and booster next year. 